crackberry.com. Hi everyone, Adam Zeiss here for crackberry.com. Um, we're going to look at the Foursquare app for BlackBerry smartphones. Um, Foursquare, kind of new, everybody's kind of getting into it. A lot of people don't understand it, don't care to understand it, um, which is not a problem to each his own, but it's basically kind of a location-based game. Uh, it helps you keep up with your friends, you earn points, uh, mayorships, uh, different kinds of badges, all kinds of fun stuff. So um, if you sign up for an account at foursquare.com, you have to put in your location and all that good stuff, and then you can download the app. So here we have the app um, up top here. It shows my last note uh, location. And then we see all my friends here. It shows you where they're at. The little crown next to it shows that they're the mayor of that place. The mayor, um, you get a mayorship a certain amount of times you check in. And it shows up, and then you're the mayor of that location until somebody ousts you as the mayor. So here up top we have our, uh, our check-in button. So if we hit that, it's going to use the GPS on your device and show you all the locations around you. So this is all the listed locations in Foursquare that people have already added. And if we get down the bottom here, we have the not in list. So if you pop that in, if something didn't show in the list, you can search for the venue. Or if it's a new venue, um, you can plug it in there. It'll give you the option to add it. You'll have to throw in the address and stuff like that. Um, but if we click on to a location here, it's going to give you the quick description, show you on the map who's the mayor. Um, and then you have the option to check in there. So if you click on that, it's going to give you the check-in screen. Um, so we're actually here at the Village Green, my complex. So we check in. Um, it's going to give you an option to shout. So that's where you can just put in a quick little one-liner, um, you know, back at home. Or if you're at a movie theater, you know, throw in what movie you're going to see or anything like that. Um, and then we see we have Tell My Friends. So that's going to show it to your Foursquare friends and you also have send to Twitter which will send an update to your Twitter account and say you know hey I just checked in here show the URL of the location all that good stuff um, and then we just have the straight up shout button so this is if you just wanna shout something to your Foursquare friends you know like hey come to my bar uh, I'm playing at the open mic or something like that you can throw that in there again we have the send to Twitter button and then you would just click shout down the bottom um, so that's just a quick look at that and again here's all the, our friends list um, if you click on to a friend, it's going to show you where they were last seen. Um, you have the option to check in there if you go to that location so you don't have to search for it. And then it has their contact info so you can see the email, Twitter, and Facebook. And then down the bottom here we have the badges. This is the badges that they've earned. Um, they're all for different things, um, so you kind of just have to figure it out. So the more you check in, the more chances you have to get a badge. Um, so there's different ones here, and it actually lists them all. And you can click on it, it shows you like the adventure badges, 10 different venues. So that's part of the fun of it is trying to uh, get all the badges unlocked. And if we go back out up top here, on uh, the BlackBerry version, the actual um, friends button isn't working yet as the app's still in beta. Um, but we do have the places, which is kind of the same that we saw <clears throat> for the check-in screen. It just lists all the nearby places. And then we have our tips. Um, there's nothing listed around me, but if somebody puts in a tip, you know, you know, go to Macaroni Grill and try the wine or anything like that, it's going to show up there and then you can check those off as being done or not done. And last but not least, we have our more on the end here. We have the Add Friends button. Um, you can scroll through your address book, Twitter friends, or phone number, and you can actually search for anybody. So here you would throw in your Twitter name, click search, it's going to show anybody that's on your uh, in your followers that's going to be on Foursquare, so you have the ability to add them. And then here we have our friend request. So anybody that requested you, you have the option to add or ignore. Um, unlike on the web, you can only see the name here. But if you go onto the website, you can see their um, location and view their profile and check out a little more detail. And then down on the bottom here, we have our notification settings. If you have the set to on, um, when people check in, it's going to pop up and show you a little alerts. Um, so if you have a lot of friends in the same area and you want to see where they're at when they check in, it'll show up up top. And then we have off, or you have a good night, which will just shut it off for the night. So that's really all there is to it. Um, Foursquare, it's not for everybody, obviously, um, but it's a cool game to play. If you have a lot of friends around, if not, you know, like me, I don't really have too many people around me that use it, so you're kind of on your own um, as far as checking in and the, the game-wise goes. There's not really a, a whole lot of competition trying to get points or mayorships if nobody's really um, checking into the same places as you, but... Definitely worth checking out. It can be a lot of fun. Um, it's Foursquare for BlackBerry. It's available from foursquare.com.